Hey, thanks for stopping into my lesson on Skeletons by Travis Scott. Um, I had a couple requests to do this song, so I went and did a cover. Um, so if you go check out that cover, I do um, standard chords, some higher up chords, sort of some Aerosmith style chords, and then I do a little bit of soloing on the electric. So if you go check out that video and then come back to this one, it might make a little more sense but I kind of try to make everything a little more guitar friendly, um, guitar sounding, because I think the actual, um, you know, the actual part of the song is a keyboard. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what you want to do is throw a capo on your first fret, and the first chord we're going to play is, unfortunately, a bar chord. So um, get ready for that. So we're going to play um, a G minor 7. So your index finger is going to bar the second fret relative to the capo. So you just want to sneak it up on top of that fret as much as you can. And then your ring finger will go right here on the fifth fret of the A. And that's your first chord. Now there's a little embellishment that I'm doing with my pinky. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. But if you want to try it, you just add your pinky right here on the uh, sixth fret of the B string, actual sixth fret. So, all right. So, strum pattern is pretty simple. I'm just kind of doing a down, 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 up, down, down, up. Then we're going to go to a G. All right. So, index finger, second fret of the A, middle finger, third fret of the low E, ring finger, third fret of the B, pinky run right underneath that on third fret of the high E. So we've got. All right. Next chord is E minor, really simple. Your index finger is already where it needs to be. So you just bring your middle finger right underneath that on second fret of the D. So index finger was just sitting on second fret of the A. So here's what we've got so far. Now you're going to jump down to an A chord. So if you bring your, your index finger and your middle finger both down a string, so leave them in the same fret, but just bring them both down a string. So your index finger is on second fret of the D, your middle finger is on second fret of the G and you're going to add your ring finger on second fret of the B. Second fret relative to the capo. So that's the the fourth chord of the first part. So we've got All right, now the second time through it goes to a uh, a G uh, major or sorry a G7 chord for the first chord so it's still a bar chord on that uh, you know second fret uh, relative to the capo your ring finger again fifth fret of the uh, of the A string and your middle finger right here on the uh, uh, what is that uh, fourth fret of the of the G so that's a that's a G7 chord all right that whole shape down and that gives you a C minor 7 so that's where you were so your middle finger and your ring finger just jump down a string and then you don't have to bar that low E anymore you can just bar the first through the fifth strings all right so and you can add that that embellishment. And then we'll go to E minor again. To G. So I'll play through the whole round a couple times so you can hear it.
right? So that's kind of what it sounds like going through a couple rounds. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the quote unquote Aerosmith style chords. So what you're gonna do to start this one off is start with your index finger up here on the 10th fret of the high E, middle finger, 11th fret of the B, and ring finger, 12th fret of the G. Now, it doesn't really matter which fingers you're using to pluck. Um, if, you, if you want, you can use your index for the G and your middle finger and your ring finger for the B and the high E. But what, I, what I'm doing since I'm holding my pick, I'm just going to go ahead and tuck my pick in my index finger like that. I'm going to use my middle finger and my ring finger for the B and the high E and my thumb for the G. So here's what we've got. One more time. Next chord. So that's index finger, 11th fret of the high E, ring finger, 13th fret of the G, pinky right underneath that 13th fret of the B. So in sequence, Okay, then we're going to slide down index finger to 8th fret of the high E, middle finger, 9th fret of the B, ring finger, 10th fret of the G. Then we're going to bar 6th fret of the high E and B, middle finger, 7th fret of the G. So all four of those chords. lower all right so the second time through we're gonna start off with that more majory sounding chord so index finger 10th fret of the high E pinky 12th fret of the B ring finger 12th fret of the G And that's what I'm playing there. Just single notes this time to get that high embellishment. All right, now for the second chord, you're just gonna bar eighth fret of the high E, B, and G. So, Next chord, index finger, 8th fret of the high E, middle finger, 9th fret of the B, ring finger, 10th uh, fret of the G. So. And the final chord. So that's that same chord as before, index finger. Um, 11th fret of the high E, pinky, uh, 13th fret of the B, ring finger, 13th fret of the G. All right, so that's second time through uh, the riff. All right, so first and second time through the riff. First time. Second time. Alright, so now taking a look at some of the solo stuff I was doing. So, when you have sort of these jazzy progressions, sometimes it's hard to find sort of a, a good spot or box to solo in. And that's okay, you actually probably shouldn't think of it like that. You shouldn't think, oh, 
let me find like a pentatonic box. Um, but that's what I'm going to show you anyways, is just kind of the pentatonic box I was using. So um, I, was, I was using just the C minor pentatonic. So the C minor pentatonic index finger starts on the, um, say, that's, yeah, that's eighth fret of the low E, ring finger, um, tenth fret, pinky, eleventh fret. And you're going to repeat that on the next string. Okay, then index finger, eighth fret, ring finger, uh, tenth fret. Then you're going to slide down a position, so index finger, 7th fret, middle finger, 8th fret, and then pinky, 10th fret. So we've got... Alright, so we got that shape. Now we're going to use this same shape on the next string, but we're also going to go back up one position to the 8th fret. So index finger, 8th fret of the B, middle finger, 9th fret of the B, pinky, uh, 11th fret of the B. So here's what we got. Index finger, 8th fret of the high E. Now if you're going to continue, that's the uh, root note of the scale again. So if you're going to continue up, you'd go ring finger, 10th uh, fret, pinky, 11th fret. just like the low E string. All right. So you take that shape and that scale and basically you can just kind of start That's how you so would solo. You just kind of start coming up with shapes and patterns, things that sound good to your own ear, and then you start building your ear up and building up your, your scales. So I hope this helped you get a good start on this song, and I'll see you on the next video.